Hello everyone, in this video I will be discussing how we can use date and time in Excel. First I will discuss date. So for that let me insert a module and let me start, start subroutine whose name is file. Now if we want to get today's date and show it as a message then we can write ms G box date and let me run this code. So today's date is 17 July 2020. Now if we want to give date to some variable then we can give it as first we have to define the variable and date and let me give date to this variable so date value equals to 17 0 2 19. and I can show this date as a message in message box and the t box x let me run this code and show you so I have entered 17 February 2019. Now, if we want to get year for the provided date, then what we have to do is we have to write year. And similarly, if we want to get the month and date. For the provided date, then we can write MSG box month x and for the day we can write MSG box day x. Now let me run this code and show you. Year is 2019, month is 02, and day is 17. Now, if we want to add some days in the provided day, then we can use date add function. For that, first, let me add one more variable. As date and let me give this variable date add d comma three comma x. So I will explain you what I have written. So in date add there are three parameters. D corresponds to date or the day, C corresponds to how many days we want to add and X corresponds to the date that we have provided. So I want to add 3 days in X date. Now I will show this as a method box. MSG box Y. So it should give me 20 Feb 2019. Let me run this code. So we have got 20 Feb 2019. Now, if you want total number of days between the two dates, then we can use date difference function. So here this was date add function. Now I will be discussing date different function. So, date this what I want is the day, total number of days between the two dates. So, x and y. So, it should give me 3 here. So, it is giving me 3. Now, I will be discussing 
for time. So if you want current time and want to show it as a message in message box and you can write it as MSG box time. Now let me run this code. So right now is 14 hours 58 minutes 16 seconds. Now, if you want to give time to some variable, then you have to define that variable x as double and then x as double and then x equals to time value. I can write the time in three. So let's say thirteen thirty twenty seconds. Now if I want to get the hour for this time then I can write it as MLG box hour and then Thanks. Similarly, if I want minutes, then I'm a G box minutes and then X. And for second, I'm a G box second and time. Now let me run this code and show you. Okay, 30 minutes. Okay, and second is 20 seconds. Okay, now in Excel, date and time are stored as numbers. For date, it calculates total number of days from 0 Jan 1900. Let me show you with an example. So let me first define x as double and let me give this x some date so date value and zero one zero one and then hundred. And let me show this value in the message box. And the G box X. And let me run this code. So it is showing me two. What this two represents is total number of days from 00 Jan 1900. So 00 and 01, which equals to two days. Similarly, if I want to calculate the total number of days for today's date, then we can write as x has date and then MNC box. So total number of days for today's date is 44029. Now for time, it is decimal number between 0 and 1 and 0 0.5 corresponds to noon. So, let me give time value to x variable that I have defined and let me give some time to it. So, let me give 12 o'clock in the noon. And show it as a message in message box. Let me run this code. So it is equal to 0.5. Now, if I want to know the number corresponding to the time that is happening right now, I can write it as time 
Đấy. The number corresponds to the time that is happening right now is 0.6279. So in this video, we discuss what function we can use for date and time in Excel VBA. In next video, I will be discussing this function with examples. Thank you.